Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy B Bullet RC and I'm coming to you guys today with yet another video and today you guys are always asking me yo bull fit video fit video more fit video and this is going to be my first attempt of doing probably a bi-weekly so every other week fit rotation you guys know me i'll take a simple idea and i'll shoot it and i'll just take it too far and i get too into it and i make it something i make it something great but I also make it really convoluted and really complicated for myself. Like my old fit videos were super complicated. Everything is cut to the songs and that stuff takes a long time, which is why a fit rotation every week seemed kind of daunting to me because it's a lot of work. And with the schedule trying to upload every other day, sometimes once a day, twice a day, it gets hard. But I'm gonna try my best. So this is gonna be my fits of the week number one. We're gonna go through five fits usually, five main fits. You guys know, you gotta be cozy throughout the week. I mean, right now I'm in some sample uh, fleece joggers, compound tee. I'm kinda just chilling. So I, two of the days out of the week, I know I'm just sitting around the house doing nothing. Uh, they're like sweatpants fits. If you guys wanna see the cozy fits as well, just let me know, I'll throw them there too. So five fits, let's get into number five. And these are in no kinda order. So number five is this joint right here, and I wanted to work this in with my latest Nike ID, or one of them, because I have another Nike ID coming. Now this is the black and orange um, Vlone Air Force One High. Got some mixed reviews, some of you guys are feeling them, some of you weren't, I, I think they're dope. But my next ID, I think you guys are really gonna like, so just be looking out for a video on that later this week. Now this is a predominantly all black fit with some orange mixed in. So you have these joints right here, the foundation, the bottom. Then for the jeans, I'm working with some bullhead denim. Um, I find myself wearing these a lot. It's a pair of PacSun bullhead um, denim. They're these skinny stacked. They're a bit more tapered at the bottom of the leg, meaning that they stack a little bit more. And for, I think I paid 50, maybe 60 bucks for these. Like, I think it's a good option. Some people don't like PacSun jeans. Some people only like the really expensive jeans. But I think a really good option that you guys can probably just easily walk in your mall and get are the skinny stack bullhead denim. If you're ever in PacSun, just check out some of the pants. I think they're doing a really good job nowadays compared to, to what they used to have. It used to be really skatewear centric, but now I feel like they're really trying to get into like streetwear. Now for the T, I got this St. Pablo Tour, Wednesday, October 26th. This is the Forum T. You guys seen me unbox this not too long ago. One of my favorite concert tour tees. And shouts out to my man. I'm forgetting your name right now, but he proxied this for me. As you guys can see, obviously it came from Los Angeles. Gildan Flex, of course. I just thought it was a dope tee. I think it goes really well with the forces. Um, the oranges are a tad bit different, but you have the orange. Then you also have like this off whitish cream color. So this is almost the perfect shoe to go with this one. So I threw this together and of course it's getting colder. So I needed some type of jacket. I'm not gonna be running around with a short sleeve tee in Virginia. Not, not these days. Like it's been two days out of this week that was like 70, which is weird. But for the most part, I'm gonna need a jacket. So I threw on one of the new Sample Essentials V2 Bombers. This is the all black nylon joint. And um, you guys have seen me do a video on this over on the Sample channel, so I'm not gonna get too in depth about it. But I do wanna say, yo, shouts out to anybody that came through the online shop. And that's it for fit number five. Nike IDs, St. Pablo T, Bullhead Denim from PacSun, Sample Essentials Bomber, the V2 joint. And that's the first fit, really black and orange, kind of that Halloween feel, but it, it was clean, you know what I'm saying? It was very clean. Also, quick message, the hat I'm wearing is from Commonwealth. Um, I got this at the VA store in uh, Lynn Haven Mall, but this is sold out. It's been sold out for a long time, but as a hat, I get a lot of questions on. So I just wanted to let you guys know. So fit number four is like a last minute going out to the bar fit. I had the, everything up top was figured out, but I just need to figure out what shoes that I need to wear. I didn't want to wear like some Jordans. I didn't want to wear like an Adidas Ultra Boost. I wanted to wear something a little bit different that I had that I usually don't wear. So I kept thinking, kept looking, kept looking, and I came across these joints right here. Now this is the Axel Arigato Clean Zip 90. You guys are gonna look at this and say, that looks pretty similar to a common projects like Achilles Low. And yes, it does, but I think these come in at around two something. So the off the site retail is a bit cheaper on these than a pair of common projects. And to me, they're still extremely clean. Now, like I said, this is the Clean 90 Zip. They have another Clean 90 pair with out the zipper, you have your laces and whatnot. Um, I really like the vulcanized sole, has that shark tooth outsole on them. It's like this all over light, 
ash gray, all over light moon rot gray. And like I said, I don't really wear these that often, but I had finally had a chance to put them on and wear them around. And I think they're really dope. You know what I'm saying? It's something a lot different for me, um, but they're clean. And when they're all one color, they go with so much, especially the navy blue tee I'm about to show you guys. So that was the footwear. So for the pants choice, I wanted to wear something olive green. Wasn't sure if they were gonna let me in with the joggers, so I went with the uh, men's H&M Thought Pant, which is this pair of pants you guys have probably seen all over YouTube, all over IG. It's your twill cotton pants with the shearling on the bottom, on the really scrunched up bottom. Paxson has their own form of these, that whole fear of God feel, um, just for 30 bucks. Extremely cheap, of course. Now pairing the olive green with the gray, with the navy blue tee I'm about to show you guys, it was a really nice mix, but I also needed that last piece. So this was the pants option. These are a size 36 that I'm wearing because I have a size 34. You guys are gonna see the difference um, in this green and the khaki color pair I'm gonna show you guys in a few. So for the tee, I wore my navy blue supreme and out of key collab tee. Now like I said, I, one of my favorite things about these t-shirts were that they had a really simple graphic, but they mixed in a lot of good colors. You have white, pink, orange, black, and a little bit of green in there. Just so it makes sense for me to wear an olive green pant. He even mix it is in there just a tad bit. But like I said earlier, I had the tee, you know what I'm saying? I had the pants, I had the footwear, and I just needed a jacket. I'm not gonna lie to you, I walked outside, I think I was about to go down to the ocean front and not put on a jacket, but trust me, when I walked outside, that wind told me a different story. So I walked back in, and I actually grabbed this jacket right here. It's my first time wearing the jacket out. Um, I showed this in a previous video when I did my Jack Threads tryout. This is an all over brown, like tobacco, cigar almost feel, um, Jack Threads trucker jacket. All over corduroy, extremely clean piece. And I had not worn it yet, and I knew I wanted to wear it. I just had to put it with the right outfit, and it, it worked, you know what I'm saying? the olive green, the navy blue, this brown, the gray, it all just kind of worked in a way that I wasn't expecting it to. And just to bring in the brown a little bit more, I wanted to wear a gray hat. Um, so this joint right here is of course the rodeo tour hat that I got. It just mixed in a little bit of that brown, making it make a little bit more sense. Also bringing in that gray for the shoes. So that was fit number four. Jack Threads trucker jacket, rodeo tour hat, Axel Arigato, Supreme T, and of course the H&M thought pant. That was fit number four. All right, y'all, so for fit number three, it's a bit more moving parts than this one, but to start off, this is a pair of shoes that I rarely ever wear. I really need to wear them more and know they're not for sale because whenever I say I barely wear some people are like, yo, you, you, you selling them though? So this is the Bread Air Jordan 4 or Cement Air Jordan 4, whatever you want to call them. I rarely, like I said, ever wear these joints, but when I do wear them, they always work. Like I haven't even relaced these. If I had these for so long, I don't even lace my fours loose like this anymore. I don't do that anymore, but I just left them for the spirit of the video. Now, like I said, foundation first, we have the Bread 4s. Now for the jeans, I went with a little, this is a more expensive option. Um, this is the Subi Van Winkle Nonsense Jean. Um, it's more of a slim, I wouldn't say it's a skinny fit for the Subi denim. It might say skinny, but it's more of a slim fit. The taper is all right. Um, my gripe with these jeans is that the taper could be a little, a little, like I say, a little bit better. And they just fit a little weird in the thighs versus your lower leg. It feels like the thighs are pretty wide. And then when they get to your lower leg, they really taper up, like unevenly. I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell you. It's kind of hard to explain. Y'all know it's the Subies, man. It's, it's just the Subies. Now for this one, I just went with a simple tee and flannel mix. Um, this tee, of course, is one of our sample Essentials V2 joints. Um, just all over red. This is the not burgundy one, but this is the all over red tee, just for something to go with the flannel. Um, really basic $20 tee. I think this one is still available up on the site if you guys want to check it out. And then what I went with with the flannel, um, shouts out to my dude over at Ineffable. Um, he sent this one over to me, but this is like a patchwork flannel. You have your yellow, your red, black, and white. My favorite flannel detailing is this flannel that's on this pocket. It's like red, green, blue, black, yellow, a lot of different colors. And you guys can just see the difference in the colors. Even the back is a little bit different color. You have this one sleeve that goes all the way down. And like I said, it's a patchwork flannel. Really dope, and I think this one is still up on the site, so if you guys wanna check it out, I'll try to link it down below so you guys can see it. But yeah, man, I got this in a size XL, fits true to size, threw it all over the T, no problems. Now for the jacket, I went with this joint right here. Now this is a very heavy jacket. 
And I don't know what it is with some of these like trucker jackets, but it almost feels like they make you look like you got a barrel chest. What is a, what is a barrel chest you might say? You just look, you look, you look round, you look wide sometimes when you throw these on. And this one's an all over black joint. It has Sherpa lining on the inside. Uh, so this one is extremely warm. Um, this is for one of those colder days. You know, the flannel usually works, but when it gets more breezy, colder, you know what I'm saying? You gotta throw on the heavy duty stuff. So I threw on this joint all black, got the Sherpa on the inside, and that is fit number three. Bread fours, ineffable sample, Subi denim, and uh, yeah, Jack Threads trucker jacket. So for fit number four, I had to throw on the Sherpa. I had to throw that on somewhere in this video, but let's, like I said, start with the foundation. So our shoe for this one is gonna be Supreme and Air Max 98. Now this is a shoe that some people hate, some people love, it is what it is. I got the snakeskin pair luckily through the Mobile Supreme app and um, I love mine, you know what I'm saying? I like the snakeskin, I like the look. I think it's a very unique Air Max 98 shoe and um, I just think it goes with a lot of stuff. Since it's all over basically gray, white, and this tan snakeskin, it's so much you can match with these. Very easy to wear, very easy just to toss on with it, whatever you're rocking. So that's what I went with for the footwear. Now for denim, we got another selection from PacSun. This is another pair of their stacked skinny denim. Now this pair is a, I have to drop my hat, this pair is an all over all white field. They do have raw hems at the bottom. You guys can kind of see they're tear it up, torn up a little bit. Um, this is something that I wasn't really a fan of at first. Um, I do like to cuff my jeans, so having them where I really couldn't cuff them or if I cuffed them it didn't really look right or make sense was a little bit different, but I, I, I was okay with it because I really like the fit of these jeans. They have a nice stretch and also they have a nice taper. It's not too much, but it's not too little. Now these are going to remind you of a Mr. Completely Jean, of course, with this long side zip. Now this is one big pocket but there is also a regular pocket up top and this like I said man it's just a solid fitting pair of jeans of course it's not top of the line it's packs on denim but I mean it works for me I think it's a great option once again now this thing right here if you are about to climb Mount Everest Mount Fuji Mount Trashmore for those from Virginia you know what I'm talking about if you don't then don't worry about it, it was a joke this is what you need right here straight Eskimo Joe flow with the Sherpa 100% Sherpa with your cotton on the inside so if you're looking for for something like this we still have some on the site if it's true to size mine is a size XL got your front utility pocket we threw a pocket up over here on the sleeve like I said there is a cotton liner on the inside of this joint and they do zip up on the side so if you want to use this for a little bit of layering you can but like I said once you put this on you're warm like that that's it you know what I'm saying you don't really have to worry about anything else the back on this is blank nothing too much it's all about the material the design is dope but it's all about the material on the Sherpa hoodie small sample of course you got your velcro right here this is a pocket like I said Eskimo Joe flow I'm only gonna say it once. I'm not gonna explain it to you guys no more. I just, I told you. They sell out and you were like, oh man, I slept. I told you. And to end this one off, this was the headwear. Now this is a hat I've had for a long time. I wear this all the time when I go out of town because I gotta let people know I'm representing Virginia when I leave, 757. So this is an old cream and um, 40 ounce NYC collab. There was also a black and white one. It was all black with white letters, but I never had a chance to get that. So that's it for number four. Like I said, our foundation, our footwear is the Supreme 98. So we got the Sherpa sample hoodie. Pack Sun all white stack skinny denim, and we have the VA hat, one of my favorite hats I do own. Gotta let them know, man. Whenever I travel, I gotta let them know where I'm from. So this is fit number five, and one of my favorite fits of the week, so I saved it for last. I know I said it wasn't in order, but I saved this one for last. So for the shoe, is a shoe that I've been waiting on. One of my favorite releases of this year. This is the Saucony Grid SD from the Garden Pack. It's an all over sage green I would say copper kind of feeling the inside off-white hits almost reminds me of like a Statue of Liberty kick and the colors on this are just plush they look good definitely a fall ready shoe and one of my favorites to drop this year now after we go from these we gotta start with the pants and like I said this pair right here is actually a size 34 so you guys are gonna be able to see the little bit of a difference now this is the same H&M thought pant $30 cotton twill kind of pants kind of that fear guy filled with the zipper to me honestly I had the 36 I have the 34 um, and if I said this was a 36 I meant this is a 34 the khaki pair is a 34 of course the 34 fits a little bit tighter um, some people are saying that they fit wide in the hips a little bit they do and they look a little bit wide just because of the way um, that they do the pockets on these pants but I say just go in store and try them on if you really want to do that 
Um, they may be online and restock, but they've been restocking in store time after time, and probably there's more colorways by now. So if you're into these, you can check them out. And if you don't really like these with a lot of this shearling on the side, PacSun also has their own version of these too, so you can check those out. Now for the T, I have this, the Move T. Now this is the same color, it's almost like the sage green, just says the Move in white on the front. And this is actually from a shop down in Texas, Black Market, USA. Um, and this is one of their old tees from the Move collection, it just says Squad, has this white naked chick on a horse. I don't know. I just saw it was dope, so I bought it, and it really goes well with the shoes. Um, so that was a t-shirt, and it was like one of those things where this is not the easiest color to match. Um, and, I, and I say match because I wanted the exact color. Now, this is a very easy color to wear with other things, um, but just to match, it was very hard, and I just was looking around, and I had this tee, and it was almost perfect with the back. This is the perfect shoe to go with these, and um, I don't think this one's still in stock, but if it is, I will link it down below, like I said. Now, this one right here, this Levi's truck jacket I get questions on it all the time so listen up like I'm saying a link will be down below if this thing is still available they had it on Macy's they have it on Jack Thors. I'm pretty sure they have it on Levi's site and I can find them around I will link it down below if you do not already have a denim jacket and you're looking for one this is the way to go in my opinion just the way it looks you can also try to find yourself one at a thrift store, that's fine too. But if you're kind of lazy like me and you just want one that's kind of already distressed, they have this one. Now this is all over kind of a stone wash feel. You have light distress into some heavier distress up here, up on the um, shoulder. And this thing just looks great. Like that's all it is. It just looks great. It looks amazing. One of the best trucker jackets probably out there for the cost. You can find it at $100 and under. This thing was like, 68 maybe 65 dollars on jack threads during their black friday sale like 30 percent off the thing and people still slept they still slept so i'm just letting you know if you want this i will link it down below don't tell don't don't ever say i didn't try to look out is down below and once again i needed a hat to match up i was kind of struggling trying to find that exact color and yo shout out to my, to my dudes over at cousins brand i totally forgot i had this all over washed out like olive green so it's pretty close it's not the exact same color but it's extremely close it even has that goldish writing on the front now this is the cousins brand script dad hat and i think my code is 50 percent off at cousins brand right now so if i can find this one i will link it down below as well just was a good mix the colors match just so perfectly and that's why i really like this fit that i came up with it it, it really just kind of came together in the end and I had some great colors to match up and then the Levi's jacket was just the icing on the cake. So guys, that is it. That is the fit rotation of the week number one. If you liked it, definitely leave a comment down below. Definitely leave a like down below. Which fit was your favorite? What was the favorite thing you put together this week? Let me know that down below as well. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cd by the way. Here, there, blase, blah, of course. Bullet RC. That is what it is. I've talked enough. If you guys like the video, leave a like. I'm out. Peace.